Hello and welcome back to Pro Tools Studio Advanced Automation Part 4. This time we're going to get into trim automation. And again, this is one of the advanced automation features that was previously only available in Pro Tools Ultimate that is now available in Pro Tools Studio, which was formerly known as just Pro Tools Standard. So if you're a Pro Tools user, you've got a bunch of cool new features and uh, hopefully this will be helpful to you. So in this session, I've got just, just a few tracks here. We'll play back a little bit of audio. And I've written some volume automation on this top track and I've made some rides, it's up and down and it's perfect. But the volume just needs to come down, I don't know, 2 dB or so. There's a couple of ways to do this. There's a manual trim automation and then there's also the uh, trim mode that you can put the track into, which is part of those advanced automation features. So the manual part is real easy. I just make a selection over the area that I want to affect and I'm using the smart tool, the Pro Tools multi-tool, and I'll put the cursor in the middle of that selection area towards the top and just click and drag and I can take that down and you'll notice the numbers in the upper left corner of that selection are giving me two different figures. The one on the left is the actual fader le uh, volume level. The one on the right is the, del the delta, how much I'm decreasing this volume by. So I'm going to take it down 3 dB or so. I'm going to hold down the command key. We'll get it right on 3 dB. There we go. And you'll see that all of my original volume automation moves are intact. They were just all brought down equally 3 dB. So that's a manual trim automation. Another way to do this, I'm going to hit undo, is to put the track in a latch mode, but also in trim mode. And what this does, if I bring up the mix window here, is you'll see that fader. It's uh, yellow, right? While not in trim mode, let me turn that off for a second. I'll hit play and you'll see that that fader will move and follow the automation that's been written here, which is great. I wanted to do that. But if I want to trim this volume automation down via a fader or more importantly, a control surface with a physical fader, if that fader is moving, it's going to be tough for me to grab it on the fly while I'm, you know, doing other things simultaneously. So what trim mode does is it will set that fader at unity gain with the yellow cap. The underlying volume automation will remain intact. I can grab that fader, bring it down however much I want, in this case 3 dB, and it will continue to write at that level. So let's give it a shot. I'm going to put the track in trim mode. It's in latch mode, but it's also in trim mode, which is part of those automation, advanced automation features. And you'll notice that the, uh, the fader is not going to move at all. It's going to remain at zero, which makes it very easy for me to grab it. I'm going to click and drag and I'll bring it down. You'll see at the bottom of the track, it's giving me the delta of the amount that I want to take it down. And I'm going to go right to three minus three, take it down by three dB. And when it stops, it'll bring it down by 3 dB. Now, one of the things that I didn't do is use that right to selection, which would really top this off and it would make that 3 dB decrease equal across the whole selection. You notice it took me a minute to reach that minus 3 dB. So I want to add one of the other automation, advanced automation features. I'm going to bring up the automation window and I'm going to use the manual right to selection, right? So I'm gonna start playback again, and I'm gonna grab that fader, take it down, and I'm gonna go right to 3 dB, and let go. It's in latch mode, so it's gonna remain there, and I'm gonna hit the manual right button. It's gonna apply that 3 dB decrease equally across that selection. There we go, and when I hit stop, you'll see the whole volume automation thing come down by 3 dB. There it is. Trim automation, very cool to do it manually with a mouse in the smart tool, or do it with a control surface or just riding a fader with a mouse. So that's trim automation.